chest. This is just kind of our collection. <laughs> No, I'll need eventually. You've got to have a safe, dry place to put everything. Our old nesting box in need of some repair. Slow down. We're going to be putting three pieces of strapping on here to secure the nest box. So I need to drill three holes. These are self tapping sheet metal screws, but these holes being rounded. And you're trying to get the self tapper going, it's tending to slide all over the place. If you pre drill it first with an 8 inch, eight inch bit, it works a lot better. Four and a half inches to get it level. That's going to be too much, I think. Let's see what we can get. Then we're going to be screwing a 2x4 on edge. Just using these Irvin Quick Crimp clamps. In order to get it through the chicken wire, you just got to slide off the yellow. We're just gonna flush up the bottom end. <clears throat> I'm just using two inch deck screws. And for the next one, I'm just going to flush it with the top, putting it on its side. So we have three pieces of strapping, 61 inches long, two pieces of 2x4, 48 inches long. And now we'll go ahead and we'll mount the nesting box. <laughs> One screw in on one end. So I do like this end first. Like over here? Like up on that end.
This is a nesting box that was given to us, used, so this will be our third time setting it up. And I had this back piece, I took it off. Come to find out we need it, it holds the bottom part of the nesting box in place. But luckily, I still had it in the back of my truck. I hadn't made it to the dump yet to throw it away. This back here has a lip on it. I gotta screw it all back in. I'll show you what we need that little lip for. So this part of the tray goes down and in. And it's set to, that's what holds that in place. Is there's a lip on this, and there's a lip on this side. And then we got these. So I've enjoyed having the pigs out on the pasture all summer. Moving them twice a day has been fun. It's, they get all excited every time they get on fresh grass to see what they can find. But now, when it's getting darker in the morning, and Olivia having to get on the school bus so early in the morning, I'm kind of looking forward to having the chickens in here. And not having to be outside at first thing in the morning, moving around in the dark. Now we'll be able to have them in here. It's a different season, I guess. They'll be a little different in here. It'll be kind of interesting and fun. I'll be excited come summertime to get them back out on pasture. So, it's funny how the seasons change and you look forward to different things. Now we're just about ready for the hens. Put some hay in there, we'll let them get it right. I'm just gonna leave this other bale in here for them. They can move it around and do whatever they wanna do. I'm not gonna go nuts, there's still a bunch of grass down. So they'll eat all the grass and everything, but... They'll have fun with all this hay. I thought we'd do a little update today on the chickens and how they're doing in their new winter chicken coop. So it does smell a little bit in here. Kind of like a vinegary smell, I guess. I would say. So what that's telling me is we need more carbon. So I'm just gonna take some of this hay I have and spread it out and let the ladies go ahead and do their thing. <laughs> Throw the flakes of hay down and let the girls do the rest of the work.
They're just going to town, scratching through it, finding all the good stuff out of it right now to eat. And they'll spread it around and having fresh grass their whole life, so they really look forward to this. Free range, free choice, oyster shells that they can eat, so if they need more calcium in their diet, they can go get it whenever they want. <laughs> They're making their own dust baths. in here right now. They're really enjoying the fresh hay I put down for them. They love all the fresh hay they get. As you can see, they're scratching through it and going to town. Even the ducks are loving it. Now even just since I put this hay down a few minutes ago, the smell in here has changed. There is no more smell. It's kind of like a, when you walked in, you just kind of felt it hit you in the face. There's a little bit of like a vinegary smell. You put the hay down, the girls have come in, they scratched it all around and moved it, and the smell's gone away. So the deep bedding really works. If you start smelling a nasty smell or a strong smell of anything, all you need to do is add some more carbon. In this case, we're using hay. The girls are loving eating it. It's a food source for them. They get more fresh greens, and it's a good carbon. I've just been using the lower nest boxes here. The upper ones I keep locked up. I don't want the girls just hanging out in here during the day and pooping up in here. So during the day, I keep the lower nest boxes open. When I get home from work, usually around like five o'clock, I'll come in, I'll collect my eggs. I get my eggs out. And then when I'm all done collecting the eggs, I just shut it up, and then that way at night, the girls can't go in there and sleep and poop all over the place. That's usually when the nest boxes get really dirty. This right here, this hay is the same hay I put in the first time we set up the coop for them. It's still clean, there's no poop. The eggs we're getting out are nice and clean. The ducks love the water. They're just going to town. They're the ones making the biggest mess over there. And, and I'm sure that's why we're going through about 50 gallons of water a week. 